AI tools are everywhere at the moment, and it can be difficult to know where to start. To help you out, we're going to try some AI tools, and we'll give you our verdict on whether or not we would use them again. We're going to start at the beginning of the UX process, with research. In this video, we're going to try out Dovetail's AI features to see if it can help speed up the process of analysing user interviews. At the end of this video, we'll give our verdict on whether or not the tool is worth using. It's important to keep in mind that AI is evolving quickly, so it's likely that our views will evolve and change as AI improves. Hi, I'm Rachel, Head of Research and Insights here at the UX Design Institute. Research is extremely important for building products and services your users will love. Qualitative research like usability tests or user interviews provide really rich data on your users. But this kind of data can be time consuming to analyze. So how can Dovetail help? Dovetail is a qualitative data analysis tool. With its new AI features, it claims to discover deep customer insights in record time. In its own words, it acts as your research partner. Its AI features will do the more tedious work for you so you can focus on the insights. We're gonna try out four of Dovetail's AI features, transcription, summarization, sentiment analysis, and thematic clustering to see if they really can speed up the analysis process. For this demo, let's assume I've just conducted a series of five user interviews, and I want to identify key insights from the qualitative data. First, I'll create a new project and give my project a name. Then I'll upload my video files. I can see here that Dovetail has automatically started to generate a transcript for my files. So it's been a few minutes and now the transcript is completely generated. From a quick review, I can see that this isn't a perfect transcription, but it is a great starting point. And it's easy to edit the text so I can correct any mistakes. Transcribing an hour-long interview manually would usually take a couple of hours, but Dovetail has done this in a few minutes. Now that my transcript is ready, I can see the AI automation features are available for me to use. I'm going to take a look at the summary feature first. This claims to analyze the text transcript and auto-summarize key takeaways. The summary points generated in this example are pretty accurate. It's a really quick way for me to generate a high-level overview that I can share with my wider team or other stakeholders. To read through an interview transcript and type out the key points would usually take me about 30 minutes. So this definitely is a time saver. I like that it includes timestamps so I can play back the section of the video associated with each key point. I can also edit the summary to add or edit the auto-generated points. Personally, I'd still want to review the transcripts before sharing it with my team, just to make sure the summary is accurate and it's not missing any key points. Now let's take a look at the sentiment function. I'll try general sentiment first. This claims to analyze the text transcript and identify any words that have a strong positive or negative sentiment. After a couple of minutes, I can see that 72 positive sentiments have been identified. This seems like a lot to me. If I were to run this for each of my five interview transcripts, I would have hundreds of tags to review. I also tried targeted sentiment to see if this was any better at identifying only the key positive or negative sentiments, but it didn't identify any. Overall, this function is currently too indiscriminate to be useful to me. The final AI feature I'll try out is clustering. Usually, I would do this through an affinity diagram exercise with my colleagues, or if I was working alone, I would group my themes together manually using an online whiteboard tool. Before I can use the clustering feature, I'll need to tag my transcripts with research themes. Once I have completed this, I can see all my tags are available on what's called a highlight canvas. First, I'll try clustering my data by the tags I have manually created. It's essentially just grouped together parts of the text that have the same tag. It's a good starting point, and it saved me some of the time I would have spent dragging tags around the board, but I will still need to further refine my analysis and group my tags together into overarching themes. I also have the option to cluster my data by themes. 
here, the themes are generated by AI. In this example, none of the themes generated are new to me. I had already identified these in the tags I had created myself. But it is a handy way for me to double check that there are no themes or ideas I've missed. So, what's our take on Dovetail's AI features? The automated transcription was great. It saved us a few hours work and is a feature we would definitely use again. The auto summarization was a nice way of quickly identifying key points from our user sessions. So we'd also use this feature again. In its current form, we didn't find the sentiment analysis to be very meaningful, as it was too indiscriminate. This feature generated a large volume of sentiments and in the end, created more work for us rather than speeding up the process. So this is one feature we wouldn't use again. Clustering was a convenient way to quickly group our tags and check we hadn't missed any important themes. However, from our experience, we can't say it leveraged deep customer insights in record time. Most of the insights emerged through our own manual tagging of the data. But we'll continue to explore this feature as we definitely see potential for it to become very useful as AI progresses. It's also important to keep in mind that we did need to review and refine the output of the transcription, summarization, and clustering. So we would suggest you think of these features as a useful starting point rather than doing all the work for you. So what did you think of Dovetail's AI features? Let us know your thoughts in the comments. Hopefully this video has given you some insight into how you can use them to speed up your analysis process. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a like and hit the subscribe button so you can keep up with our AI review series where we test out other AI tools you can use in your UX process. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.